Oh, so glad you made it. I'm so glad you could come back. What's about in London? Ah, uh, dude, I look really good. You look really good. Nothing good. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm out shooting for Pretty Little Thing, so if you're following me on Instagram, great, go ahead and, you know, interact with that post, but I'm out shooting three different outfits today, and it's gonna be fun, and it's not a hot day, so we're good, we're good with that. Give me some video ideas. <laughs> Why are we taking this? Yes. Just to have it. No, it's okay, I'm fine. Ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all, so we're at a different location. This is my third outfit for today. And I didn't film the second outfit, but um, there was a lot going on. So we're now on to the third outfit. We're almost done because the lighting in here is perfect. So, oh, the lighting in here is perfect. So almost done with this one. Okay, we're done. That was really quick. And the lighting is perfect. I didn't think it was gonna be that good because it looks so enclosed in that sense. But it's like the, the, all the light flooded in that yes. sense. Yes, that was really good. I'm going home um, and we'll chat when I get to the house. Hi everyone, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I'm actually getting ready to go out to brunch. I'm very excited because I'm meeting this person for the first time. Her name is Bethia. She's always supporting me, always, always supporting me. We've always, we've been following each other on Instagram for a while now. She's always been super supportive. She's so pretty and she's a fashion girl, okay? She's a fashion girl, Bethia. I, if Bethia started her own channel or, you know, promoted her Instagram in a way for content creation. Should we eat the girls up? Trust me. Very excited. And I can't wait. Hopefully it's not too hot because let me try to hurry up. It's 1038. Going in with Elf's Power Grip Primer. Alright, so for today, we're just gonna be doing a rosy look. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm wearing. I don't have a clue. That's why I'm like really pressed for time. I'm I'm doing the most right now. Like I'm actually pushing it, but here I am just yapping away. I actually put translucent powder down on my face prior to anything else outside of the primer obviously but just to make sure my face stays matte since I feel like we're gonna be I don't know I think we're gonna be seated inside but I just want to make sure my face doesn't do the most it's funny because since this is my first year doing vlogmas I'm you know looking out for everybody else who's doing vlogmas as well or I'm seeing all the other vlogmas videos and I'm thinking about some of my faves who I love to watch and I'm like oh, I wish they were doing Vlogmas. So I can only imagine how for the past couple of years people might have felt about me and my channel I'm thinking, dang, I wish Dominique was doing Vlogmas. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm thinking about that now as I'm doing Vlogmas, I'm like, dang, I would have really liked to see some of my favorites video pop up on my timeline every single day. Like at least I have something to watch. If I'm not watching it that same day, at least I have something to build up to watch. It's like a marathon of sorts. <laughs> Going in with my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 14, this is I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to say it you know I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to bring it to people's attention oh is my lash coming off but this is that girl she is not to be played with the color match is actually insane it's gonna be a sad day it's gonna be a sad day when this foundation is no longer my perfect match because that's what happens with all of my foundations that I've owned. Eventually they just become the wrong shade. Sometimes we'll end up being darker or getting brighter. You know, the formula, the finish, it's just immaculate. So I'm gonna place the Giorgio Armani down first. Then I'm gonna go in with some concealer using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and a, not a Mond, <laughs> and Truffle, let's do Truffle. Using a sponge today, cause I just want a more. I want a full coverage look, but I don't care to. I don't care for it to appear as though I have a full coverage makeup. How are y'all doing? I want to know. Seriously, are y'all have y'all been good? I know the holiday, the holiday time or holidays are hard for people because of memories, because of people, 
and things that may be going on in life at the moment and especially because of season seasonal depression um, time changing and it getting darker sooner so if y'all been good for me i haven't been dealing with any seasonal depression that i can think of i don't i don't want to assume to i don't think i have been dealing with any seasonal depression or anything like that but i have been having these bouts of sadness like these waves of sadness that come come about and i don't use the word depression loosely and typically i don't use it to describe myself nowadays i feel i feel okay i feel okay I, I feel like i'm going through the motions of what's my next step like what's my next move you know what what can i get into and that's just how i've been feeling lately but you know feelings change they're fleeting like they're always they're ever changing so i really do want to know have y'all been good what's been going on if you don't want to share too much i just give me a thumbs up like an actual emoji thumbs up so depending on how you're feeling give me a green heart if you're feeling really good you know you're good you're cruising everything's fine okay no real issues are happening life is good you're feeling great a yellow heart if you're in the middle you're like Ugh. i don't know girl i don't know i've been going through it but it ain't been that bad, but I have been going through it. And give me a red heart if you're, you know, if you're really going through it. So I can pray for you so that way others can pray for you. If, you know, we have anybody who is a prayer warrior in the comment section, just pray for the person or the people who leave red hearts if that's how you've been feeling. Green, yellow, and red. Hopefully I don't get too many red hearts because I really don't wish any bad energy or any anything negative on people for real as for me i'd give myself a yellow heart but not too yellow you know what i mean not too yellow i think i'm on the green side of things but i would say right now i would give myself a yellow i would give myself a yellow like the past couple of days i'd give myself a yellow but before that green green greens across the board but yellow recently the other day i was editing a vlogmas video and i had an hour's worth of footage and i chopped it down to 15 minutes. My line sister's having an ugly Christmas, ugly sweater Christmas party or something like that um, in Tampa though. And I would love to go, but she's having it the night before Christmas, December 24th. And I'm like, Imani, girl, if you're watching this, like, oh, I cannot go. <laughs> I can't drive from Palm Beach to Tampa and be there on Christmas day. <laughs> If she was having it maybe a week before Christmas or sometime that wasn't on Christmas, then I would have went. I would have at least tried to go so I could see Imani and her family. I could also see Daph. I would have went, but I, 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 I'm gonna be spending Christmas with y'all. I gotta spend Christmas with my own family. <laughs> so I hope the turnout is good though. I hope people show up for her and they have a good time. But that's another thing. I think I've said this before, but community, community is so important, y'all. And if you have community in your area, like you have a group of friends or just a family dynamic or even just family and, you ha and you're on good terms with your family, don't take that for granted because some people don't have a community. Some people don't have people that they can rely on or depend on or just even go out and have a drink with. <laughs> Or just hang out with for real also the other day when i came back from the beyonce movie i felt so inspired i i was journaling the last time i journaled was back in august beyonce had me pull out my pen and paper <laughs> and literally start journaling that same night that i got home so much so i ended up cleaning my room my room was a mess y'all i'm over here cleaning she had me inspired to clean to write to rap yeah if you haven't seen the film please go watch it. Even if you didn't go to the actual concert, go watch it because there are so many good clips from the concert and you're in the movie theater, the surround sound, you're gonna feel good. It's, it's a feel good film. It's an inspiring film, all of the things. And am I gonna do counter? I love a good bronzer. I'm never saying no to a bronzer ever. I'll leave everything that I'm using down below in the description. Uh, most of these things that I'm using, I've used in prior videos of mine. So if you know, you just, you just know, you feel me? My mom has ran out of her powder foundation. So I think after I get back from brunch, I'm gonna stop at the Boca Mall and pick her up some of the Sephora powder foundation because she really likes it and it looks good on her. I love a good bronze face, y'all. It's one of my favorite things to do. 
in my makeup routine it's literally one of my favorite steps just bronzer 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 pigment goes crazy Did I get makeup on here? I'm sorry. Come here, mama. Come here. I'm so sorry. There you go. You good, girl? Is that your first time wearing makeup? I just added some translucent powder to my lip liner just to ensure that it stays. And then we'll do our liner later or our actual lip color later. Where's my brow? All right, I'm going to let this dry. Put. I'm going to figure out what I'm wearing, do my makeup. Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. I literally have like 40 minutes left to be out the door. So I need to find an outfit, I need to do my hair, and then I'll come back and show you all my outfit, and then we'll be in the car. Minus the shades, I'm gonna take the shades off, but I just need them to dry because it's sunny outside. Is everything that I'm wearing? I'm about to put on my perfume. I'm gonna put on Gentle Fluidity Gold and then head out the door, because I, got, I gotta go. All right, y'all, we're in the car, getting on the interstate now to head over to, oh, I, I didn't even mention where we're going, but we're going to Sun Surf Sand S3. I just uh, I just found out about it not too long ago, and I figured it'd be a great spot for us to go to. I think she's heard about it as well. She's also a foodie too. Hee <laughs> hee. I think she's a foodie. I think she likes to go out and eat like, you know, most women do. <laughs> Sitting sideways, waiting to look in all the time. Time gets a ticket, then it takes a toll. Told you I couldn't really draw the line. Line ringing, saying that you told him things, things that you really kept inside. Sidetracking me when I was good to you. You were somebody I was standing behind. I know you like to drink to the sun up, grind till you come up, work all winter, shine all summer. Oh my goodness, y'all, there's there is so much going on right now. So much. And what time is it? I just got my car. Valet is a mess. <laughs> there's so much going on with Valet. I need to see if Bethia got her car. I'm just trying to make sure she has a car, but I feel like this is her right here. I hate this. When you got a big old truck, why do you have to flood my car? Bethia, this you? Yeah. Okay, bye -bye. Now I'm on my way home, amen, amen. Actually, I'm not on my way home. I'm gonna go to the mall, pick up my uh, Sephora foundation for my mother, and then head home afterwards. Thank you. Thank you so sweet. That was such a good time, y'all. I had a good time. The food, the food was good. I liked my steak and eggs. All right, just made it to the mall with just a little time to spare. I don't got too much time on my hands. The mall closes in like 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm taking a guess where I need to be. I don't know, I've never parked <laughs> on this side of the mall. to Sephora but I actually parked very far and so I'm walking back to the car so I can head home and see which one of these shades fits my mom I feel like the shade underneath my shade is gonna be my mom's perfect shade but we'll see but yeah leaving them on now it's about to close anyway so 